Hey guys, Dango Nerd here. Um, I don't have anything to nerd out about. Um, I'm completely out of content. So I thought this would be the, the first week where I didn't post a video um, in the past uh, year and a half. So I've had, I've had this channel for a year and a half and I've posted at least one video every week. But I thought, hmm, this might be, <laughs> this might be the first one where I don't, you know, I don't have anything. So, um, but I couldn't go down without a fight, so I, I came up with something. Um, uh, I got some new slippers. <laughs> new house slippers. So, yeah, I thought I would kind of give you a review on that. And I'll maybe talk about, you know, something that I was working on, but. So, these are my new house slippers. My wife bought them for me. Um, they're by LL Bean, but I don't, I don't even know if they make these anymore. Cause like I couldn't find it on their, on their LL Bean's web, web page. Um, but, uh, I, my wife found these on uh, Zappos. So she bought them. They're like $110, which is crazy. Uh, if you've seen my previous videos, you know I, I wear these around the house all the time. And these are my original ones. So I've had these uh, 16 years. And <laughs> they've served me well. Um, they, they got like a hole in the bottom, but I had to duct tape it up. And it's really, really lasted, you know. And I still wear them. I'm still, con I will continue to wear them. I didn't. I didn't need new slippers, but my wife got tired of um, me leaving sticky spots on the on the floor upstairs from the from the tape, <laughs> so she bought these for me. Um, so originally, like 2000, I think it was 2006. Yeah, 2006. Um, my mom bought me these pair, uh, this pair, and then um, she got a pair for my wife. And my wife's has shielding inside. Mine is just leather. But um, yeah, that was 16 years ago. And back then, these were like $60, maybe 60 something. And quality is outstanding. Um, all leather, even the, the liner was leather. Everything is leather. Um, comfortable. And you can, as you can tell, they've been durable. I wear them every single day. And then problem is I wear them out in the garage. Sometimes I go outside, you know, like if I have to go out into the driveway. But these are the new ones, uh, like $110. They're still made in El Salvador. But the um, thing I noticed is that the, the liner is no longer leather. It feels kind of like a faux leather. And the footbed is not leather either and then there's something in there it's a little bit stiffer i think they put a little like <laughs> my old ones they're like it feels like a ballet slipper it's like there's it's just it's a true moccasin you know it's like all leather and unfortunately but that's i guess you know progress right so um but i like them they look good and if these last and serve as well as my original ones then you know i think 110 dollars is you know well spent but um just just kind of i'm gonna wear these upstairs in the house and i'll continue to wear my old <laughs> you know it's got paint everywhere on it i had to paint my mom's bathroom when I went to visit her and all that. And so I'll wear these, you know, downstairs here in my man cave and out in the garage and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, these are, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I would recommend these new ones now cause you know, it's like $110 and it's not as good as they used to make it. I guess we can say that about everything, right? But um, that's what I 
<laughs> what I have for you right now. Um, let's see. I'm working on some battery. I thought I, I got... A lot of you probably have Altoids. I buy them and then I just dump the the mints into a, a Ziploc bag. I have those out in the garage. <laughs> but I'm using this one for batteries. I, I'm gonna I need to get some AAA batteries in there too. But I got um, this is the 1632 for the my optics. I got this CR123 for the Surefire. Uh, a couple double A's I need some triple A's too for like you know I think I use the triple A's for the uh, my ear pro but yeah I'm gonna try to make some battery kind of containers for that so I got the same thing here one of each um, throw one in each of my range bags and then um, let's see what else that's that's about all I have I have a new um, EDC bag I guess I'll call it I waiting for the vertex dead letter sling bag so this is my Swiss gear scan smart backpack it's getting too heavy and unwieldy because um, I have to carry my l laptop every day and I got all kinds of pouches in here. So yeah, I think it, I think it's like 19 liters. It's, it's, it, can, it holds a lot. I have, a, it's basically stuffed, but it's, it's damn heavy. And um, I don't use both straps cause I carry it to work and I usually wear a sport coat and I just sling it over one shoulder. But I thought, <laughs> It's time to maybe upgrade because now I can't even keep the zippers secure because it's so heavy. Every time I carry it, it zipper open up. So I have a, a Velcro strap that I lock the zippers with that. But um, so I decided to order the Vertex dead letter. I figure it's probably the larger size of this tourist sling bag. I love this one. But I stopped carrying it because I need to carry my laptop. But um, the dead letter seems like it's a, just a, a larger version of this. So if, if that's true, then then I'll be happy with that. So I think that the tourist sling, this is like six liters. And I think the dead letter sling is 12 liters. So it's going to be like a medium. So I have six liters. The dead letter sling will be 12. And this thing is huge maybe 19 or 20 liters but um um so yeah i'll have a video about that next week and i'll yeah <laughs> you're thinking i could probably just take take out half the junk in here and lighten this up but what's you know what's where's the fun in that then i wouldn't be able to make four or five you know frivolous redundant videos so <laughs> so that's what I'm looking forward to, I guess, for next week. But um, yeah, that's all I have for this week. Uh, keep my streak alive. At least one video <laughs> every week. Uh, yeah, it's getting it's getting hard. It's you know, if you don't have you know hundreds of thousands of subscribers or you know sponsors, people sending you gear. To review and things like that then you have to come up with stuff on your own so yeah um, the struggle the struggle is real anyhow uh, thanks for watching and thanks for your continued support um, hopefully I'll come up with something else but um, yeah that's all I got for you this week so thanks for watching and I'll see you <laughs> next time <laughs>